Jesus. Yes, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to share this video. God, we shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We need to thank God for everything that you have done in your life. He is so good. He is so kind. There is no one like him. Father, Lord, I appreciate you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, you are so good. You are so kind. Begin to thank him, begin to appreciate this God for everything that he's doing in your life today. He is so good, he is so kind. Begin to share this video, begin to share this video to bless someone today. God will surely bless you and reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Today is a happy day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am. Begin to thank this God, begin to appreciate Him for everything. Father, Lord, I thank you, everlasting Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, the I am that I am. Father, Lord, we love you. We love you, Father. Oh, Father, Lord, you are number one. Father, Lord, oh, Father, we thank you, Jesus. Leka baba sindaraba sete, lebobo zindorobo seka tarabaya. Father, Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we appreciate you for everything that you are doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank this God. Begin to appreciate him for everything that he's doing in your life today. Share this video. Share it. Let it bless someone. Let it bless someone. And God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Begin to share to bless someone today. Lekoto zindarabasete, makalaba. Let no one like Jehovah. Let no one There's no one like Jehovah. There's no one like Jehovah. Let's 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 no one like Jehovah. Hey, Makaraba Setorobo. Masete Riba Bakalaba. There's no one like Jehovah. Father Lord, I thank you. Everlasting Father, I thank you for what you are doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Le Katarababa Setorobo. Le Son Torobo Ketalaba Sete. Oh, Father Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Masete Riba Bakatalaba. Rebaba Sindorobo se talabaye. Oh Father Lord, I say thank you. Holy Ghost, I say thank you for everything. 
You are so good, O oh Lord. Leko bo se talabasete. Mali baba se talabasete. Oh, Father Lord, I thank you. Oh, Father Lord, I say thank you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Leka baraba baba sindaraba. Lebo bo se talabake talabasoto riba baba baba sindarobo. Leto ta sindarobe sete. Oh, Father Lord, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Leko to zindorobo. Thank you, Jesus. My voice is kind of down today, so I'm, I'm like screaming before you guys can hear with uh, the people that is on, online. Um, people that is online, I put the video for people that will be online, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, please begin to share this video and let it bless someone today, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, my voice is kind of down today. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to thank you all for coming to this prayer today in the mighty name of Jesus. You all are great. And I love you all for joining today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Re karaba se torobo se te. Ma karaba se talababa. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And begin to thank God for everything that He has done in your life. Begin to appreciate Him for what He's doing right now. He is the great of King. He is the King of King. He is the King of all. Begin to praise Him. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Le baba se kataraba se to. Ri baba lekete zindarabo soto. Begin to thank this God for everything that He's doing right now in your life. He is the King of Kings. He never fail. He has never failed. He will never fail again. He will not fail. Whatever he say he will do, he will do. Begin to thank him. Begin to bless this God for everything that he has done in your life. Re toto zindorobo seta. Ma kalaba sete rebe sete. Oh, Father Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Re toto rikata. Oh, Father Lord, we appreciate you, Lord Jesus. Begin to thank this God for everything. Uh. Begin to appreciate Him for everything. Uh. He is the King of Kings. Uh. He is the Lord of Lords. Uh. He is so good. He is so kind. Uh. There is no other God like Him. Re kata la ba 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 sindoro bo sete. Mare bo bo zindara ba seta la ba. Oh, Father Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Le kata la ba 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 ba. Ma le kete zindara ba ba ba. Begin to share this video to bless someone today. And Almighty God will surely bless you for everything. Father Lord, we say thank you. Holy Spirit, we say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we appreciate you. Oh, Lord, King of Kings, we appreciate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank this God for everything. for everything. Begin to appreciate him. Oh, Father Lord, we say thank you. Father Lord, we appreciate you for everything. We appreciate you for what you're doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we appreciate you. Father Lord, we thank you. Begin to appreciate this God. Begin to thank him for everything that he's doing in your life. Begin to thank him for what he's doing right now. He's so good. He's so kind. There's no other God like him. Begin to share this video. I'm doing the same here. Share to every group, share to your friend. I invite your friends, please invite your friends to join us. Le Baba Se Taraba. Le Koto Zindaraba Sete. Father Lord, we say thank you. Everlasting Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Baba, we appreciate you, Lord. Le Kataraba Baba Sindaraba. Le Bobo Zete Bebe Sindaraba. Oh, Father Lord, we say thank you. Le Kodo Zindorobo Sete. Oh, Father Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Oh, let us begin to cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Let us begin to cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we cover this prayer right now with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we cover everything with the blood of Jesus. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus upon here right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us begin to play the blood of Jesus upon this place. Play the blood of Jesus upon this place right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus upon everyone here. I pray the blood of Jesus upon myself too, upon this live video right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Le Kababa Sindaraba Sotorobo, Le Bobo Zindaraba. 
Oh, Father Lord, that thank you, Jesus. Uh, let us begin to speak that every territorial spirit, every power that follow anyone here should be silent this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we silence every 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 power that come with anyone here. We silence them this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every territorial spirit to be silent right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, uh, we command them not to be silent. Uh, Holy Ghost, we command them not to be silent in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to silence them right now. Every evil power that has here right now, let us begin to silence them right now. Begin to pray to silence them. Begin to pray to silence them right now. Le baba so torobo malekete zindaraba la baba zindorobo bobo zindaraba. Begin to pray because Jehovah is his name. Your eyes is going to open today. There is nothing he cannot do. La kata la baba sete. Begin to praise him. Begin to share this video. Begin to share it up because my God is going to do something great in your life today. Re baba zindorobo kata la baba. Oh Father Lord, I say thank you, Jesus, for every teller. Le katari baba se tolobo, la tata zete lebe sete. Oh Father Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him because Jehovah is His name. There is no other God that is more powerful than this Jehovah. This is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shada. The I am that I am. The beginning to the end. Oh Father Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Le popo ze katara basete. Oh, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to welcome everybody here. Uh, please, I don't uh, mention your name. Don't take it personal. I can't see everything. And God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome Brother Krenet. God will surely bless you. I welcome the woman of God. Uh, mommy, we blessing. I welcome Mommy Hanire. And um, I'm just trying to say F.A. Mayiko. I welcome... Um, Norama, thank you, Jesus. I bless your name. I welcome my sister Florence Osunde. I welcome my brother Jerry Ewoma. I welcome you all and I love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. If I didn't mention your name, don't take it personal. God loves you and I love you too in the mighty name of Jesus. Tag someone, tag your friends, tag everyone to join. God will surely bless you. Like I said, my voice is down today. And uh, God will help us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, you are so great, oh, Lord. Father, Lord, you are the mighty warrior. Father, Lord, I thank you for the banks that you're going to break today. I thank you for breaking every shackles here today. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. I, I thank you for opening eyes today. Father, Lord, I thank you for the great deliverance today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you are the mighty warrior. You are the great healer. Father, Lord, you are the God that can break chains. You are the God that can heal. You are the God of open heaven. You are the God of great deliverance, oh, God. Father, Lord, we say thank you now. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Baketa Laba. Oh, Father, this is your name, Jehovah. There is no other God that is more powerful than you. Whatever you say, you will do, you will do. When your word go out, it go to where you pronounce it to be, oh Lord. Your word never changes. You are not a God that says, oh, I said I will do it. I, I change my mind. Your word stands firm. Father, Lord, we appreciate you for that word. We appreciate you for the love. We appreciate you for the blood of Jesus. We appreciate you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to come and save us, to come and, to come and take us away from bondage. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Leko to zindaraba katalaba. Oh, Father, Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Just bear with me. I'm kind of throat down. Father, Lord, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Leko po zikaraba sete. Thank you, Jesus. So today we're going to pray for first son and first daughter. That is what we're going to pray today. We're going to pray for first son and first daughter today. 
If you know you have a first son or first daughter, you are a first son or you are a first daughter. If you don't, if you are not first son or first daughter, you can as well pray for your children, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you take this first step of faith, I see that somebody is trying to add me. I will add you later if you want to join, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Arababa sindaraba sete lebo bo 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 sekete ma santaraba sete libaba keta ma rebaba zindoro bo soto le koto zindoro bo seta reba ye ma le kada da 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 rebo bo zindoro bo seta. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am. Le baba sin de rebese katalaba. Ma toto ze te te ribaba. Oh, Father, Lord, I say thank you, Lord Jesus. Ma li bobo se te ribebebebe. Re katali baba so to robo bo 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 bo. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, are you still there? Because the one in the computer is freeze. I don't know. Um, please, if you are, if you are still seeing me, please just let me know. The devil is a liar today. People must hear the truth here today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, are you still seeing me? Does it freeze over there? Because it's freeze over here. Makaraba sete lebo soto ribaba. Mare Baba Sete Lebo Bobo 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 Father Lord I thank you Jesus Oh Rakata Li Baba Sete Brother Kenneth are you seeing me? Are you seeing me? Is it it, it does not freeze right? Mara Baba Sindoro Bo Sete Oh Father Lord I say thank you Jesus Le Baba Sindaraba Seta Laba Makaraba Seto Lobo Sete Li Baba Sete Father Lord I thank you Everlasting Father I thank you in the name of Jesus Thank you Father Thank you, Holy Spirit. Is anyone seeing me there? Are you guys seeing me? Are you guys seeing me? Is it working over there? Is it on over there? Okay, thank you. One person just answered. Thank you, uh, great woman of God from South Africa. Thank you, sister, uh, princess. Who we, God will bless you because the one over here frees her. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, like I said today, let me load this music because we want to get down to what we are here for. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, uh, today <clears throat> we are praying for first son and first daughters in the mighty name of Jesus because of what the enemies are, because of their evil things that they are doing. Uh, Le papa se taraba se te. So that is what we're going to be praying for today in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I'm going to take from Genesis 49 uh, 34, which says that uh, <clears throat> Reuben, die out my firstborn. I'm going to repeat again. Uh, Genesis 49, 3, 4. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might and beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water. Thou shalt not excel, because thou wantest up to thy father bed, then defy thou it. He went up to my coach. This is Jacob that is talking here now. He's laying a curse on his son. So we're going to learn a lot of things from here today in the mighty name of Jesus. So Reuben was the first son of the 12 sons of Jacob. But the curse was, but a curse was laid on him. You know, every first son supposed to receive a blessing. But in his own, in his own case, he was cursed. His father cursed him because of what he did, uh, because of the sins that he he did. So his father now bless, uh, now place a curse on him. So uh, we need to try to have some patience tonight when our sons and daughters do things so that we will not use that version to place a curse on them amen because that curse will just go from generation to generation so this cause that his father caused him go from generation to generation because he's sin against his father that sin was so great and his father grieved for that sins and his father placed a curse on him so i'm going to read obediah 1 17 but thou Obediah uh, 117, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Amen. So you're going to pray like this. You say, as the first son or the first daughter 
of my family. I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this one. I shall possess my possession in the mighty name of Jesus. As the first son or the first daughter of my family, I shall possess my possessions. I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall possess my possession. As the first son and the first daughter of the family, I shall possess my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall possess my possession. I shall possess my possession. <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall possess my possessions. I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. As the first son of the family, you shall possess your possessions. You shall possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Possess your possessions now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to demote you because you are the first son or your first daughter of the family, you shall possess your possessions. I command that power now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, re kata le baba so torobo, ma se te li baba se taraba, and you shall possess your possession now, begin to possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen, say I shall possess my possessions in my father's house, in my mother's house, I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus, I shall possess my possessions, no power will demote me, I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, retoto zintala balabalaba. I shall possess my possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to read Exodus four. 22 to 23. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thou said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my first born and i say unto thee let my son go and he may serve me and if thou refuse to let him go behold i will slay thy son even thy firstborn amen so you see <coughs> sorry my voice so god is telling uh, uh, uh pharaoh now that is israel Israel, because it's one person that makes Israel. Amen. So he's telling Pharaoh now, let my first son go. Or if you don't let my first son go, all your first son will die. So this is what God is giving him. When he's using the, uh, Moses to tell uh, Pharaoh now that he, he should let all his first son to go. So like I said, it's only one person that make Israel. So let my first son go. So Pharaoh refused. Uh, and God, what God did, God sly all the first son of uh, of Pharaoh and the, all the first son. The, every first son in that land, they died. You understand me? So that is how so they say that there, there is something about first son and first uh, daughter in the family. Amen. So you're going to pray. So you say, hey, you're going to pray. And you say, any foundational, any foundational power or evil power that refuse to let me go. You are praying for your first son or your first daughter. Or I say first son or first daughter. You are praying right now. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Say, any foundational power or evil power that refuse to let me go lose your hold over my destiny and die in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power that refuse to let me go lose your hold over my destiny and die right now in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power or evil powers that refuse to let me go as the first son or the first daughter lose your hold this minute and die lose your hold away from my destiny lose your hold away from my destiny Lose your hold away from my destiny. Share this video. Let people see it. Lose your hold away from my destiny right now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold away from my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your hold away from my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any foundational power, any evil power that is holding a firstborn or a first a firstborn here, first son and first daughter that is holding them down here by evil power. I come command them not to let them go in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them not to let them go. Let them go. Let them go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Firstborn is one of the precious gifts from God. I'm not joking. It's in the Bible. Firstborn is one of the precious gifts from God. In every family, firstborn is usually taken in high esteem with 
agape love you know what is agape love like real love 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 that is the love they are taking uh, they are putting up on the first uh, born in the family but the enemy are trying the devil are trying to turn it another way round uh, so you're going to pray like this you say oh god uh, that made me a first son or first daughter show me the source of my problems uh, in the mighty name of jesus god some first uh, children uh, they don't even know where their problems are coming from uh, some are just roaming in the street roaming in america drinking smoking drugs different things are happening to them so you're going to pray this one with holy anger i hope you people are hearing me because i'm kind of screaming and talking here so that you can hear my voice amen so so you're gonna pray like this uh, oh god that made me first son and first daughter show me the source of my problem uh, in the mighty name of jesus oh god that make me first son and first daughter show me my the source of my problem show me 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 the source of my problem, show me the source of my problem. in the mighty name of jesus show me the source of my problem show me the source of my problem Rakataribaba. oh god that uh, you have made me the first son and the first daughter. Father, Lord, show me the source of my problem. Oh, God, show me the source of my problem. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, show me the source of my problem. If the music is too loud, let me know. Show me the source of my problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Whenever the child, like what, whether the child is a man or a woman, there is always special rights reserved for them. It doesn't matter whether they are a man or a woman. As, as you are a firstborn, there is always a special right that is reserved for you by your parents. In their heart, in their whatever they have, there is something they reserve for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. In my country, for example, first son or first child, first son, is normally receive a double inheritance. You understand me? They, they, they receive double inheritance from their father, from their mother, from their family because they are first son. So you're going to pray like this today. Everything is all about prayer, 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 prayer today. Amen. You say, like I said, a first son, a first born, a there is a special love in their parents' heart for them. And they are for God because God doesn't play with first firstborn firstborn is for god amen amen so they those uh, firstborn in the family especially the first son uh, they receive uh, a special inheritance uh, from their parents uh, special one uh, every they, re, they receive it uh, they are they are called a different way because their parents love them so much because they are the one that opened the way amen so you're going to pray today you're going to pray this one very hard uh, Praise with all your power where you are. Distance is not a barrier. You say, I shall not lose my inheritance to another. In the name of Jesus, I shall not lose my inheritance to another. I shall not lose my inheritance to another. You're going to measure my, you're going to measure your name. I'm not a first son. I am second to the last. Uh -huh. So you say, I, Dora, I shall not lose my inheritance to another in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Say, I shall not lose my inheritance to another. I shall not lose my inheritance to another. Let us begin to pray that for one minute. I shall not lose my inheritance to another. I shall not lose my inheritance to another. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not lose my inheritance to another. I shall not lose my inheritance to another. You see the tactics uh, the Satan is using. Uh, when the first son is roaming about, things are beginning to happen in the life of the first uh, born or first daughter. Things will begin to happen. Then, in a way, slowly, slowly, the first born now will not be demoted. Uh, will not be demoted uh, the love the everything the heritage now will not be transferred slowly to the second born you see you see the tactics of the devil because firstborn is meant to be greater firstborn is meant to be greater so devil will not cause some things will not manipulate some things uh, then slowly all the all the inheritance uh, like i said all the inheritance all the love everything will now be transferring slowly to the younger one uh, say pray this prayer if you are first son or first daughter pray this prayer very well say 
I shall not lose my heritage to another. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not lose my heritage to another. I shall not lose my heritage to another. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not lose my heritage to another. Lekata ripa paso torobo. I shall not lose my heritage to another. I shall not lose my heritage to another. I shall not lose my heritage to another. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not lose my heritage to another. I shall not lose my heritage to another. Rekata Lebaba. I shall not lose my heritage to another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. But once his father is dead, like when the father of the, the firstborn is dead, the first son automatically take either first son or first daughter auto, automatically take her over the wealth, property, and position of his father. You see? So it's transfer. When the, the parents are gone, so the firstborn is the person that will take everything that belongs to the parents and begin to manage it in the mighty name of Jesus. But in some, in some families, they will not allow the first son or the first daughter to enjoy what their parents has left behind them. And the God will surely destroy them in the mighty name of jesus but god sometimes revise you know when something happened just like just like reuben because what reuben did to his father when father grieve and lay a curse on him so now god you know the, if you are a prophet you lay a son or a father if a, a curse of a father and a mother always go with the child you understand me so sometimes god can reverse uh, 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 the curse and uh, with a higher anointing, that is how the course can be reversed. God can reverse it with a higher anointing upon the person, great deliverance, then the course can be reversed. If the person is just sitting down talking and uh, the, the, it's not, the course is not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not reversed, you understand me? Uh -huh. But sometimes God reverses his order as he did with Jacob and Esau. You understand me? He can still reverse his order as he did with Jacob and Esau. So we are still going there. Amen. God will surely bless you, Sister Alvi. God bless you. So I'm going to read uh, Genesis 25, 21, 20, uh, 21 to 23. Genesis 25, 21 to 23. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah his wife conceived and the children struggled together within her and she said if it be so why i am this and she went and inquire inquire of the lord so people they don't know how to ask god something they just sit down now every time sometimes god can show you something before he will show your prophet you understand me because your prophet has so many things that he's seen god can show you this thing and then you will not come and tell your prophet what you have acquired or what God has shown you. So from there, your prophet or your prophetess you can go from there. Amen. Amen. So um, so she went uh, and acquired from the Lord. And the Lord said to her, the Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb. As she acquired, she went and acquired from the Lord. And the Lord told her, two nations you know what nation two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bows and the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger you see he said the young the, the elder shall serve the younger so you're going to pray like this. You're going to pray. If you are a first son or first daughter, you're going to pray like this. Sir. You say, any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray this one for two, hour, uh, for two minutes. Sir. Say, any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire receive fire 
receive fire, receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny for to, to, to be serving my younger ones, I command you now to receive fire. Receive fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive fire of the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray this one very hard. Pray with all your anger. Pray with only anger. Any power that wants to demote me for my younger ones, I command you now to receive fire and die. Receive fire and die right now. Receive fire and die. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, to exchange it. I am not your candidate. Receive fire and die. 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 Labo bo sindaraba. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, receive fire and die right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive fire and die right now. Any power that wants to exchange my destiny, that want to make my me to be serving my younger ones, I command you not to die. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Because people need to pray this prayer. Because when God gives a first son or first daughter, mostly the first son, you are the heir of the family. You are the head of the family. You understand me? What everything that your father have done, you are the one that is going to carry it. Hey, say any power that wants to exchange my destiny, that wants to exchange my glory. Oh, so that my I will be serving my junior ones. You that power, you are a liar. I command you not to die. 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 Lose your hold and 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir. You're going to pray this one. Any power that wants, wants to reverse my destiny. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Power that wants to reverse my destiny. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Power that wants to reverse my destiny. I command you not to die by fire. I command you not to die by fire of the Holy Ghost. Sir. Power that wants to reverse my destiny. Die by fire. 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 Power that want to reverse my destiny. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers that want to reverse my destiny, they want to reverse it to to, 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 to back uh, Sita. I command you not to die. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any power that wants to reverse my destiny, they want to reverse it to Egypt. Uh, I command you not to die. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because I will possess my possession. Because it's my inheritance. Uh, I will possess my possessions uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Amen. Invite your friends. Sir. Don't be selfish about this thing. Invite your friends. Let them come and be blessed too. Share it to different groups that you are. If you don't want to invite a particular person, share it to groups. They will see it there. God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. These my people, they love me too much. Oh. They don't want another person to snatch me. Okay. I'm just joking. So, we're going to pray this one. You say, any evil plan to stop my destiny, I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Any evil plan to stop my destiny, I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop you now. I stop you now. I stop you now. <coughs> in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. any evil plan to stop my destiny, I stop you now. I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Stop them before they stop you. Stop them before they stop you. Any evil plan to stop my destiny, I stop you now. I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop you now. I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil plan to stop my destiny, I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop you now. I stop you now. I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop you now. I stop. I stop you now. I stop you now. I stop you now. Stop them before they stop you. Stop them before they stop your sons and daughters. I stop you now because this thing is moving from generation to generation. Any evil power that wants to stop my destiny, I stop you now. I stop you now. I stop you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the next one, going to pray. It's all prayers today. It's all prayer because this is not a joking matter. You say, any foundational power or evil power that wants me to... To be the, the, the tail instead of me being the head. 
I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Any foundational power, sir, to that want me as the first son or the first daughter to be the tail instead of the head. Uh, I command you not to die. I command you not to die. I command you not to die. Lose your hold and 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 die. This means uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any foundational power, sir, uh, that wants me to be the tail, uh, not the head. Uh, oh, I command you not to die. I command you not to die. Pray this prayer very well. Any foundational power that wants you to be the 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 tail instead of you to be the head. Uh, command that power not to die. Command that power not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Command that power not to die. Rekata leba baseta rabakete. Command that power not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, foundational power that wants you to be the tail uh, instead of you to be the head. Uh, you are the head. Uh, and they want you, they want to demote you to build the tailor. Command that power now to die. Stop that power now. Stop that power now with the power of the Almighty God. Repopo Zingarabaketa la Baseta. Holy Ghost begin to move. Holy Ghost move. Any power, foundational power that wants to use the senior son to talk to the tailor. That want to use the senior daughter to build the tailor instead of the head. Let that power head be cut off right now by the sword of the Holy Ghost. Let it be cut off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for every first daughter and every first son here. You shall be the, the, the header. You will never be the tailor. You shall be the header. You will never be the tailor. I say you will be the header. You will never be the tailor. Any power that wants to demote you, I command that power to die. I command that power to die. I command that power to die. Power that wants to demote you to be the tailor. It will be the tailor instead of the header. I command that power to die. I command that power to die in the mighty name of Jesus. As a first son, when you are inheriting a house, this one is very deeper. As a first son or a first daughter, when as a firstborn, when you are inheriting a house, you must in inherit every package, every package that comes with the house, e.g., the foundational courses. You know, the foundational causes, the strong man of the house, the strong woman of the house, the occultic power of the, of the house, uh, the family idol, everything will be transferred to the firstborn automatically. So this is an advice for people. If you are a first son or a first daughter, not just first son, first son. If you are a first daughter, your father is a narcotic. Your mother is a narcotic. It will be transferred into you. So when people, they are just fighting for a house, you want to inherit a house, you must inherit it to inherit everything that is in that house. But as a child of God, when you are there as a child of God, before you inherit that house, take pastors everything, say everything that has been with my father and my mother, or whatever my father has inherited, or whatever my mother has inherited, my forefathers, my great grandmama, I stop it from this my generation in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop it now, I stop it now, I stop it now, I stop it now from my generation, and I stop it now from my generation. You have to stop it because those. Those powers that we are dead before, they were there for a long time. You cannot just come today, you say you want to come and move them. No, that is why we are here as the people of God to open your eyes and see. Even in the Bible, it's foundation to foundation for foundation to foundation to foundation. It's not just we that is living on earth. It happened with the people that were living in the Bible before. So you have to pray. Every power in that house that want to transfer to you because you don't know what your father has done. You don't know what your mother has done what your great grandfather has done you don't know it but those power they are ready they are waiting it doesn't matter where you are you don't need to be in that house as far as you are in that bloodline you are in that bloodline it will transfer it will transfer to you so you're gonna pray like this you say any power that wants to claim ownership of my destiny lose your hold and die in the mighty name of Jesus any power that wants to claim ownership of my destiny I command you not to lose your hold and that I command you not to lose your hold and that begin to tell that power to lose his hold up away from you any power that wants to that, that, that wants to take ownership no power can take ownership from you let me open your eye again remember 
every first son and first daughter, every firstborn, uh, they belong to God. Uh, so that power of your father's house uh, or your mother's house uh, or that wants to claim your own, uh, claim ownership of you, begin to pray. Oh, that any power that wants to claim ownership of me, I command you not to lose your hold. Uh, I command you not to lose your hold this minute uh, because I belong to God. I am a first son. I am a first daughter. I command you not to lose your hold right now. Lose your hold this minute. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Any power that wants to claim ownership from you, you that power, I command you not to lose your hold this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to claim ownership of, of my destiny, of my destiny, I command you not to lose your hold. Lose your hold in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants to claim ownership of me, of my destiny, every inheritance, evil inheritance, they want to transfer to me. I command you not to lose your hold. Lose your hold this minute. Lose your hold this minute. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Pray that those power that wants to that that, that, that that wants to transfer to you, those power that wants to uh, claim ownership from you, you lose your hold. Uh, we could tell that power to lose their hold this minute uh, because you are not their candidate. Uh, like the Bible verse that I've been reading says, first son and first daughter belongs to God. Uh, so no evil power that will come and take ownership of you. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we're gonna pray this one. You see, I will be the head. Not Bennett, not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will be the head, not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will be the head, not the tail. Praise with holy anger. I will be the head, not the tail. I will be the head, not the tail. Any power that wants to demote you to be the the, the tail, tell that power that that power is a liar because you are destined to be the head, and that head that you will remain, you shall never be demoted. Say, I shall never be demoted. I shall never be demoted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I. I shall never be demoted. I shall never be demoted. You that power that wants me to be demoted, that wants me to be the tailor instead of the header, you are a liar. I shall never be demoted. I shall never be demoted. I pray for this first son and first daughter here today. Any power that wants to take your crown that God has given to you right from your mother's womb, I command that power to die. I command that power to die. This is a serious prayer today. I command that power to die that in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any power that wants to take your crown, uh, I command that power to die. I command that power to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, amen and amen and amen and amen. So we're going to pray this one. Any power that wants to move me from the front seat uh, to the back seat, uh, receive fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any power that wants to move me from the from the front seat uh, and take me back to the back seat, uh, I command you not to swallow fire. I command you not to swallow fire and die. Swallow fire and die this minute. Swallow fire and die this minute. Power that wants to take me away from my inheritance. Uh, they are removing me from my from the front seat. Uh, they want to want put me in the back seat. Uh, cry to the Lord today. Cry to the Lord. Uh, say I will never be in the back seat. That front seat belongs to me. That is where God ordained you to be. That is where you will be. You will never be demoted. You will never be demoted. No power will take you from the back uh, to the front seat to the to the back seat. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Say no. I will never. I will never be demoted. All my younger ones are there in my back. They will follow me. They will follow me. That is how God designed it. That is how God designed it. All your younger, when you speak, they will honor. When they speak, when you speak, whatever decision you make in the family, that's what they take. What your father has done, what your mother has done, remaining, you will continue for them. That is how it's ordained to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know. And as as Jacob later did with Ephraim and Messiah, I'm going to talk what Jacob did with Ephraim and Manasseh. So this is from a Genesis 48, uh, 13 to uh, 13 to 22. Genesis 38, 13 to 22. You can find it in your Bible wherever you are. Amen. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand, Ephraim in his right hand, towards Israel's left hand. Israel, that is their father, Jacob, right? Uh -huh, their father. So he said, uh, Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his left hand, 
towards the right towards Israel right hand and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel left hand and brought them near unto him and Israel stretched out his right hand Israel now that is their grandfather stretched out his right hand and lay it upon Ephraim's head who was the younger you see you see the destiny this is what happened in his own case is going now from generation to generation that's why i put this bible verse so that we can understand where we are going this is what happened in so in all time he want to continue it now to the next uh, generation i think one, because his son now bring the two sons to his father to pray for them to bless them so the father now bring a hand to the younger the right hand to the younger son Say, my inheritance will never be taken from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir. My inheritance will never be taken from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir. My inheritance, sir. My inheritance will never be taken from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me continue. And Israel stretched out his hand and lay it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guide Manasseh's head. Mm -hmm. Guarding his hand rightly for Manasseh was his firstborn. 15. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which feed me all my life long until this day, is blessing them now. The angel which redeemed me from evil, from all evil, bless the late and let my name be named on them, and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the head. So you know what people are saying we, are, we don't have an ancestors. This is a man of God here that is praying with his father and his mother, his fathers. He's called that those are the ancestors that he's calling now. And you need to shine your eye. So, and the 17, and when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Abraham, he displeased him and he held up his father's hand. He held up his father's hand like, Father, what are you doing? Because the first son is there and you, are, you want to bless the, the, first, uh, the, the younger one upon the, uh, upon the first son. You understand me? Because this is what happened in the whole time. It is what happened in some time. It's not transferred. You see, our father sometimes, I don't know, because it's something in some generation. Look at uh, Ken and Ebe. It's come. I'm coming to that, too. I'm coming to that, you know? So he's not doing it. So he said he displeased him and held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head onto Manasseh's head. You understand me? <laughs> and Joseph said up, uh, upon his father, not so, my father, for this is the firstborn, Put my right hand upon his head. Put the right hand upon his head. Let me repeat that again. He said, and Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy hand, the right hand, upon his head. You understand me? And his father refused. This Bible verse, go and read it very well. Though. I'm not the one saying it. His father, and his father refused. And said, see the trick the father used. His father refused and said, I know it, my son. So he know what he's doing, right? I know it, my son. I know it. He also shall become a people. It's not saying now that the you know the bad the first son. That's it. He's telling his son that he know because his father refused. He said he know. So his father know what he was doing. He said, I know it. He also shall become a people, and he shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. Ah uh ah. -uh. You see something? His younger brother shall be greater than him. Hey, he said, and this she said shall become a multitude of nations. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I shall never be demoted. I shall never de be demoted in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall never be demoted. I shall never be demoted. I shall never be demoted in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not be beneath or, or, or under my younger ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Satan knows this thing. So Satan is now manipulating the first son out of their inheritance. Because Satan, of course, he was in heaven. He knows all those things. 
he wants in the no does so he see in a way different things are uh, manipulating the first uh, uh, born away from their inheritance you shall never be manipulated away from your inheritance in the mighty name of jesus uh, 20 and he blessed them and he blessed them that day saying in this he still blessed them oh, and he still blessed them saying indeed shall israel bless saying god make thee as a friend and as Menesa, and he said if uh, Ephraim before Menesa. And Israel said upon Joseph, Behold, I die, but God shall be with you and bring you again unto the land of your father. Sir. Moreover, I have given to thee one portion above thy brethren, which I took out of the hand of the Amorites with my sword and with my bow. The battles of the firstborn started generation uh, in the generation of uh, uh, Cain and uh, Adam, uh, uh, Cain, you know. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to say, Cain and Abel. So this cause started from me. Uh, the, the other one said, it, so this bed, right? But God bless you, my dear. But bed, they get, God bless you, you know. You, you know, it started from the time of uh, Cain and Abel. That one said, said so this birth right the mother manipulate everything and everything say i will never be manipulated uh, away from my inheritance uh, away from my destiny i will never be manipulated out uh, i shall never be manipulated out. i shall i will never never be manipulated out out of my inheritance, uh, what belongs to me? I am uh, the person. i am the first child uh, i will never be manipulated out uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, so that is what I happened. It did not happen now because devil is using it against the first son. Because the first son, the first daughter, suppose like my first, my senior sister, I will respect, will respect her. Oh, mama, 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 she's our mama, she's our first son. Like my mother, she was the first son of the of the father. And all the brothers, uh, they call her mommy. It's not that I'm just explaining. It's not just the first son. All the brothers, they call my mommy, mommy, our mommy, our mommy. She's our mommy. They have their mommy, but this one is a special mommy. You understand me? And that is how it's supposed to be. And the, uh, the, the first son is the head of the special mommy. Even the special mommy, they say, uh, 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 even the woman is a senior, is a senior daughter before the son come. But as far as the son comes, the son is still the head of everything. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, so the battles of the first son is not just come now. It's from generation to generation to generation. So we we have to learn how to cut ourselves out of it, cut our sons, cut our daughters out of it, so that they can, re, so they can really enjoy the real inheritance that God has uh, ordained for their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you know, those people we are not, you know, like all those first son, they we are not able to fulfill their divine agenda that God has for them. Remember. God love for son. God have a inheritance. There's something that is always reserved for for son. You understand me? Because of the powers uh, in their foundation that actually limited them. You understand me? So those powers from their foundation has limited them so much. Uh, you know, some firstborn they struggle, they struggle, they struggle till death. Uh, they struggle without nothing. Uh, they struggle. <clears throat> Excuse me, they struggle, they struggle all the time. You understand me? Because Satan knows the trick, he has caught them out of that inheritance. So you're going to pray like this. Sir. I shall not die before or after my inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not die before or after my inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not die before and after of my inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just listening because people are on. Uh, on uh, prayer lines, so people they are not uh, on Facebook, so I put them on prayer on a uh, telephone. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. So you say you pray like this: I shall not die before or after my inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not die before or after my inheritance. I shall not die before or after my inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you see a first child of a family. You will understand that the that that they possess the glory of their family. When you see them, 
You understand me? When you really pray so hard, you will see that this first son or first daughter possess uh, the glory of the family. That is how God made it. Uh, but devil has turned it around. Uh, you know, the, the glory might be a bad one, might be a good one. Like I said, when you don't pray, then the person now will not inherit the bad things from the family. You understand me? But when the person pray, all the bad things of the family will not give way for that person to really possess their possession. You know, so that is how it, it will be you no know, the glory might be like uh uh i don't know like the father you know different things they die young they do this one they do this one different things and we don't want to mention so we have to pray when we are first sons and first daughters you know a firstborn is a crown of the family but unfortunately the enemies have turned some into rocks you understand me if you see the way firstborn are suffering mostly first sons uh, and some first daughters if you see the way they are suffering you will not believe your eye they have turned them into rag they have turned them into rag oh my god so we have to pray say any foundational power or evil power that have that wants to turn me to a fitting rag i am not your candidate lose your hold and die because a fitting rag when they turn that to a fitting rag there is not more valuable nothing they're going to use with fitting no fitting rag now they will not throw it away so you're going to cry to god today say any foundational power or no any evil power that wants to turn me into a fitting rag i am not your candidate i command you to die this man, I command you to die now. I command you to die now. I command you to die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any foundational power or any evil power that wants to turn me to a fitting rag, I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to die now. I command you to die now. I command you to die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any foundational power, any evil power that wants to turn me to a fitting rag, I am not your candidate. I command you now to lose your hold and die. I command you now to lose your hold than that in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen and amen and amen and amen a first born child uh, include first sons and daughters supposed to possess uh, power strength authority dignity and wealth of the family but in some cases because they are so battered uh, they don't have that power anymore that power has been taken away from them you understand me? They are not looking upon their younger ones. Uh. They are not looking upon their younger ones. Uh. That is not good. Uh. That is not your destiny. That is not how God has created it. Uh. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. But many struggle from one thing because some of them struggle from one problem to another, from one problem to another. Problem me, problem in their hand. Problem me, problem in their hand. It's not supposed to do so. You know, the devil quite understands uh, the mystery behind first child and they know they actually have mighty destinies. Uh. You understand me? Because that is the first virtue. That is the first virtue that came out of the of the of, of your parents you are the first virtue that came out of your parents so there are many things that have come with you so devil understand this mystery behind the first son and the first daughter so he is actually doing things to them that is what is doing to them you understand me let me repeat that again the devil understand the mystery behind first child first born uh, so he know that they carry mighty destiny you know as the first child of the family when you are born uh, there is a thing that is the first virtue that there is a thing that comes with you so devil understand that but we don't understand that that is why devil is battling the first child of the family once they once they are ignorant when you are ignorant you are ignorant about it, because this time what is killing people ignorant some people they said they are they are brother they don't even know those things you understand me? Uh -huh. It's better you know now so before it's too later. So when they are ignorant about the facts from their infant, like when they are small, uh -huh. so then something like they don't know that something mis uh, mysteriously have happened, uh, something has tempered uh, with their birthright. Amen. Uh -huh. So our Lord Jesus Christ is a firstborn. Hello. Our first, our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, our this, our Jesus Christ is the firstborn. When heaven was about to send someone to the world to to release us from uh, from this bondage that the devil is trying to put us, uh, because he was the first son, he was the one that to be sent. 
Devil want to maneuver. Those were one of the things that caused problem in heaven. Because when they now, when they now know what devil is planning, what Satan is planning, his name was Lucifer at that time. You know, so when he, they were they were now make doing a meeting, he was not in that meeting anymore. He was exempted from that meeting. They were not making a meeting. So who are who are we going to send to the world? So heaven has to send his first son to 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 to, to earth. The far first son was Jesus Christ. You understand me? So Jesus Christ was the one to be sent because he was the first son. So we all know what Jesus Christ went through for us to be saved. We know what he went through that is how first son is going through a lot of things sir. more grace sir. god bless you sir for joining in today god bless you pastor you understand me so jesus christ was the first son that was to send to earth to bless to bless to cut every chain to do everything we know what jesus christ went through amen and amen. So look, if you if you being a firstborn of Joseph and Mary, he was able to do greater works for my kind. You understand me? He uh, no, as a uh, first son of that family, before there are other ones, he would do a greater works for my kind. Amen. May you do greater works in your family. Amen. So look at what the Bible says here in Revelation. Revelation 1 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the who, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth? This means that Jesus was the first person in the time to come and from the dead never to die again. Amen. If you read the book of Exodus 11 15, God is warning. God warning to Egypt. I said it earlier. God warning to Egypt that he will kill their firstborn. Their firstborn was part of the plan from the beginning. You understand me? So what the devil is planning against you, with some people that you offend them, they say they want to attack your first son because they want to attack your first daughter that is in university because they know that that is where your, 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 your you know, that is where your, most of your happiness is. You understand me? So his mercy, God repeats his warning to Pharaoh, giving him plenty of opportunity to repent. All the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of man's servant who is behind the handmaid, and the firstborn of the beast. Even the foul firstborn, the chicken firstborn, all of them, they die. You understand me? So there is something a bass firstborn. So what we don't know, we just take it on our eyes, my firstborn. Ignorant, ignorant. The Bible say, my people, ah, ah. They perish because of lack of knowledge. You understand me? There's something about that. When you have your first son, first daughter, watch them closely. Pray for them because they carry the destiny that is going to help the other ones. Amen. 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 So the firstborn belong to the Lord. They own their lives to God. Let me repeat that. The firstborn belong to God. They own their lives to God. Amen. But Satan is so but Satan is so cunning, he's claiming ownership of them in different ways. So different ways that he's claiming that he can claim them through foundation, he can claim them through what they use their hand to cause, different ways. Because we, it's very, very good for us not to fall in the hand of Satan. Because anyone that falls in the hand of Satan, it will trap them, boom. And some people, they, when something happens, okay, let me say this one. When something happens, some people will be swearing with their children. Anybody that is swearing with their children, run for that person. Run for that person. The Bible also says we should not swear with anything. Even with, you know, we should not even swear with the throne of the uh, a throne of grace. You understand me? You should not swear. Some people, if anything happen, if I do this, if it's so great, in a lie, they are putting you on a trap. The way they swear, you swear. You will see what will happen. You just swear, you go and sleep. You don't have leg, you don't have hand. They are just setting a trap because whatever you say with your mother will be used against you. You understand me? So you check yourself. Check yourself whether that's something that happened in the past. Amen? So don't swear with anybody. Don't swear with anything. Don't use your son or your children to swear with anybody. 
Amen. Because it happens a lot. Because maybe something, you didn't do anything, you want them to believe you. You say, okay, if I swear with my children, they will believe. It's a lie. That is a trap. It's a trap. It's a lie. Don't ever, don't take that. That is a trap. Don't ever swear. Amen. <laughs> so, firstborn was killed in the land of Egypt because God wants to use them as an example of obedience. You understand me? So you can find that it's number 8, 16, 18. You see, God just used them as an example. So when you are going to be swearing with your child or something, the devil wants to pepper you. you. You understand me? So the devil wants to pepper you. So don't do that. Don't ever do that. Amen, amen. So you're going to pray like this. Huh? Any power that wants to kill my firstborn because of my sins, or what I did in the past, receive fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I think this one is for mothers here. It's for mothers and fathers here. Any power that wants to kill my firstborn because of my sins uh, or what I did in the past, uh, receive fire and die now. Swallow fire and die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any powers that wants to kill my firstborn because of what I did in the past or what I have done or what I have said or with my body language, whatever, any mistake that I have done, uh, they want to use it against my children oh father lord let that power receive fire and die now let that power receive fire and die now in the mighty name of jesus let that power receive fire and die now let that power receive fire and die now in the mighty name of jesus because of what you did uh, they want to use this if with against your first son or your first daughter tell them to begin to receive fire now tell them begin to receive fire now if you see that if they are not wicked uh, the devil is very cunning you that do the thing you that the father or the mother they do this why did did not prepare you. Why are they going out to prepare your son or your daughter? Why? Why are they doing that? You see, they are wicked. These are the tactics of, of Satan. That's why you have to keep even foul, foul. When you see foul is going, you keep your children, cuckoo, 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 they go. Because Satan, they are very, very corny. But we just live, we just live you now. We don't even understand the, the, the trick of uh, Satan. You understand me? So a letter of firstborn is under the punishment of their parents. Most of firstborn or first daughter, first son, they are under the punishment of their parents. That is what is happening. They are under the punishment of their parents. Uh, what their parents did, what they did not know. Like you see that one as if, uh, as if, uh, as he as he uh, cursed Reuben now. As he cursed Reuben, now he's going for generation to generation. You understand me? <laughs> so let us see the re responsibility and the functions of a first uh, born in the family. They lead the family to a promised land. That is their they lead the family to a promised land because the younger ones will be at the back. Then now nah, nah, they, they will they will lead them. They provide for their younger ones. Uh, the first son or the first daughter take responsibility of uh, take over the responsibility of the deceased parents. Uh. Like in my own place, when the parents that the first son is the one that will that will take over the, the burial stuff. Uh, there are some things that the firstborn must do. You understand me? But now firstborn that is not okay. Firstborn that is not uh, doesn't have money. Firstborn that is drinking. How is he going to do it? Uh? I know some family, some family, I don't want to talk. Some family, when their parents die, the firstborn doesn't have anything. The younger ones they will batter him. Uh, they will they will show him pepper. They will disgrace him. Uh. They will disgrace him in front of the other ones. Uh. They will disgrace him. Uh. That's what they are doing. You understand me? They will disgrace. They will disgrace him. That's what they are doing. Because the first son doesn't have anything. <laughs> he will never be demoted in the mighty name of Jesus. They motivate. Uh. They motivate and inspire their other siblings. They work harder to sustain the family. They act as a mature and intelligent leaders yes they must be financial givers to the family because they have to have they must work harder to protect the family from destruction sir so we're going to pray like this sir any foundational power that wants to demote me die in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power that wants to demote me die in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power that wants to demote me die in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power that wants to denote demote me for my inheritance sir. i command you to die i command you to die I command you to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Any foundational power that wants to demote me, die now, die now, die now, die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, first son and first daughter, sir. You know, first bones are naturally born to rule and to be the first to 
overcome stubborn obstacles in the family. Like I said, uh, whatever your parents have, you know, you have to pray so that you will not carry, so that you will not be inherited. The bad ones are, uh, you inherit the good ones. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. First sons and daughters are people after God had, especially for a specific assignment. By destiny, they possess more anointing from God. Are you hearing me? They possess more anointing from God. <coughs> Excuse me. First son and first daughter. They possess more anointing from God because they belong to God. God put them as a stronger pillar of the family. You understand me? You have to pray that like they say, I am the stronger pillar of the family. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. I am the pillar of the family. I shall not be moved. If a first son or a first daughter have money, if something happens, who bought the younger ones to come and be talking to them anyhow? They will talk to them, and, but when the first son or first daughter is nothing, he doesn't have anything, they have battered the first son of the twelve, he will not say anything. You understand me? That will not be your portion. I said that will not be your portion. First son and first daughter, that will not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. God did not create them in their mother's womb as a second born, third born, or even a last born. No. <coughs> God created them as the firstborn, amen. In addition, he placed them above other siblings for, so for several reasons. Uh, not because they are the only child recognized by God. Not that because they are only child recognized by, by God. Be but because God placed a total attention on them. There's a total attention, attention on them, on the firstborn. You understand me? Uh -huh. And it's also true that God has a special plan for firstborns and he blessed them. God has a special plan for them. God bless them. Bless them more. He empower them so that they can so that they can be fit to take over to the younger ones. Not the younger ones will not come in another way around, come and be putting hand on the head of the on the senior son, the senior daughter. It's not done anywhere. Amen. That will not be your portion in that mighty name of Jesus. It is possible to see birthright of the firstborn stolen by wicked powers. Because firstborns, they are created, their destiny are great. But bad powers, they try to steal they try to steal it, uh, try to steal the destiny of the first uh, children in the mighty name of Jesus. The adversary, they have fed them with different things, sickness, my financial problem, demotion, all those things. Uh, that will never be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to pray. Any power that wants to steal my birthright, uh, receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Power that wants to steal my birthright, receive fire, 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 receive fire in the the mighty name of Jesus, uh, command them to receive fire right now. Enough is enough. Uh, power that has been fighting to take your bet right now. Uh, receive fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, God bless you, prophetess Jennifer. God bless you for coming. I'm so sorry I was not, uh, I didn't come to your program. I was busy. God love you in Jesus' name. So you're going to pray like that. No, you will, you will never be demoted. Uh, you will never be demoted in the mighty name of Jesus. To, today, you know, like now, this uh, come, uh, generation, uh, it is very common to see firstborn suffering like, uh, you know, all the firstborn, they are suffering like a homeless. They are suffering like a homeless because they are firstborn. Because they are firstborn. Mothers, fathers, you have to protect your firstborn. Very important, protect them because they are the first virtue, they are your destiny. Protect them very well, you know. Because of uh, ignorance, they don't even know they cut all the children together. No, if you empower your first son, me myself, my 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 my, my sister have a first son. That's my sister first son. I don't use it to play. You know, if I miss mommy, I miss mommy because I know what is it. I know what is it. I am miss mommy. I protect that boy like never before. Like, oh, oh my god, you understand me protect them because they are the pillar of the family amen so the foundational power surrounding the stars of of the of the uh, first son is too much it's too much so you have to be pray always pray foundational powers for them you can even see now in the bible there are foundational powers you see the way uh, you know he wants to pray for this two son he is changing it uh, he's changing hands uh, to put uh, uh, his right hand on the genome one said those are the things that are becoming from generation to generation you understand me and his, his son tried to remove his hand he's refused he said no 
You understand me? So don't see that all those things is not happening. You understand me? So it's still happening in the Bible. So like I said, fa uh, 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 foundational battles are surrounding the stars of the firstborn too much, too much, too much. And I pray that Almighty God will deliver them today in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to pray like this. My destiny receives divine spirit in everything I do in the mighty name of Jesus. My destiny receives divine spirit in everything I do in the mighty name of Jesus. My destiny receives divine spirit in everything I do. My destiny receives divine spirit in everything I do in the mighty name of Jesus. My destiny receive divine spirit in everything we do in the mighty name of Jesus my destiny receive divine spirit begin to pray that your destiny will receive divine spirit in everything you do there is a reason why you are the head of the family there is a reason why you are the head you will never be detained in the mighty name of Jesus in some cases when the firstborn of the family is struggling to excel struggling to marry struggling to break forth in the family ah there is always an obstacles in their way you will pray I shall not get any obstacle in my way again. Oh, Father, Lord, you have ordained me as the first son and the first daughter. Oh, Father, Lord, ordained me. That are not that you are giving first son and first born. Father, Lord, put it out to me today in the mighty name of Jesus. This delay usually keep affecting them back until they get their deliverance. You understand me? Until they get their deliverance, they struggle, they struggle. Ah, like my place where I come from, <laughs> in Africa. First son, eh? If you <laughs> first son, they suffer. They suffer. Their mother hair will remove. You understand me? They suffer so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. So going to pray this prayer. I say, you're going to pray like this, sir. Amen. Amen in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just going to jump some so that we will not sleep here today. <laughs> amen and amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just going to jump some. Uh-huh. So we're going to pray like this. Say, any power that close my marriage, like, a, uh, you know, first son, uh, like some first son, they go, they, they stay in abroad here, yeah, they still use them. They use them so much. They are here, first son or first daughter. They begin to sponsor marriage on people at home. They are not married over here. They are not married. Their marriage is in the shampoos and everything. They even go out, uh, as, uh, as long as they, they want to sponsor the, the marriage about, uh, of their younger ones. When that they don't, they cannot even... Um, they cannot even do their own uh, uh, marriage. Uh, they are struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling. You know, when you notice you are borrowing money from your yoga ones, when as a first son, then you are not borrowing money from your yoga ones. That is an error. When you find out that, uh, when you find out that you are attracted, you are attracted to dishonor. People don't honor you everywhere you go. It's a, that, that's an error as the firstborn of the family. When you find difficult to identify the source of your problems, when you find yourself doing what is not in line with God's agenda in your life, when you keep dreaming of wandering around your father's house, mm -mm, you know that one is not good. When you keep seeing masquerade, animals chasing after your star your destiny in the in the dream mm -mm, that's not good when your helpers change their mind uh, at the last minute uh, when you feel like you are cash spiritually uh -uh, that's not good when you keep fulfilling the goals of others why yours is abandoned when you are then you know that you are cursed you understand me when you when your expectation is always cut off yeah. When you notice that bad things happen to those who wants to assist you, when you notice you, when you notice that you never make it in your family, when you make massive input but little results will come out, when you work hard but other get the credit, uh huh. When you notice that you are pretty as a woman you notice that you are pretty but you cannot get a good man that asks your hand in marriage uh-huh all your junior ones they are married but as a senior daughter you are still home something is going on there when there is double frustration and depression attacking your uh, your reasoning when you are sharing from the patterns of your parents uh, they'll say like father like son like mother like daughter uh-huh cut yourself off when you have money but you cannot see the evidence in your life uh, when you keep seeing cowboys attacking mostly your head right hand and your legs in the dream you notice that your younger ones are progressing 
or getting engaged or marriage, you are seeing one place still going around. Uh huh. When you have a feeling like a timely death or lose a chronic sickness, it's coming. Uh huh. So you have to know that one. So uh, I'm just going to say some story. It's still just a story. There's one firstborn. The firstborn, the father, the father was very rich. Very, very rich. These are the people that I know. The father was so rich. So that first son is the heir of the family. So when this first son go abroad, so this first son continue to dream. This firstborn was born in abroad. Because the father was so rich, they born this first son in abroad. It's a popular person's son. Then when the first son now, when he started growing up, before he, you know, when they took him back home, then he was smoking, he was smoking, he was smoking, he was smoking with smoke, 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 smoke. Every bat in his smoke. Nothing did not smoke. This is a son that finished university, everything. Suddenly he started to smoke. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This matter that I'm telling you, the mother committed suicide. The mother consumes it. The mother is a pastor. These people, they are very close people that I know. Is when they, when they did that night, they, they told me, I, I saw it in a vision when he died. I saw it in a vision because, well, for a long time, I've not seen him again. That very night that is that, I saw that in a vision, they, they just put in, they were just, uh, they, you know, there was something that was just eating his flesh. You understand me? He later died. He died. Before he died, the mother committed a, co uh, commit a suicide because of that. You understand me? Then the thing not transfer to the second son again. The second son smoke, smoke, smoke. When I went to Lagos, I went to visit their sister. In my presence, she was smoking something. A girl in her husband's house. What of the husband see her? Is he not going to kick her out? Mm -hmm. See, so she was smoking in my presence. So the thing was going from generation to generation. You understand me? Then we have to be careful that our parents will not cause us too. There's somebody... The parents, just like Joseph and uh, the, just like the what happened with Jacob and Joseph, then the father now picked him and take him out of the country above the above the senior ones. Then he promised his father he will do this for his father. He will do this for his father because of the pamper him too much. When he when he when when he, he went he went abroad, he did not re remember what he promised his father. But the father has money. The father did not want all those. But he just promised the father that he wanted to. But all the first uh, sons, the first sons, the one that were higher, uh, the one that were born before him, they were angry. They were causing him to make mistakes. They were causing him to make an error that will last him for a long time. You understand me? So actually, this person forgot his father. He did not turn up for what he did. A lot of things started to happen to him. He went to jail, to jail. He will spend five years. He will, he will seek different, different things happen to this person. This person has a lot of money. But what happened? This person has spent more than... Okay, like, I don't want to jump in. This person went to Africa. They said, okay, see what is happening because of the father is not happy what he did and everything. But they are going to know when a, a who does not have a hole and will not enter. They have already put it that he, this guy, they have stake above us. This guy will suffer just like uh, uh, Joseph. You understand me? So this father now say, okay, eh, I was angry before, Sha, but uh, it's a lie. Then this, uh, this guy did not still make it. But when he got back, he stayed there, he do everything. He said, see this, this boy spend more it's not a man now old man he spent more than 40 years in america without nothing even if you have a passport you don't have nothing you are nothing you understand you understand you understand me so that is what happened that is the cause of his father you understand me so we have to be we have to be very very careful like a first son or daughter you know went abroad or they, you know they, they they have to you know we have to be careful. We have to be careful so that our parents will not cause us too. And that was the first Bible verse that I read. If father was not pleased with him, father cursed him. He was going from generation to generation. This is another different case. You understand me? But, you know, Satan, they use status. It's not the status now. They will not use this status. Then this first son now will not make an error. And if the, 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 the parents... They will now verse and curse that first son. Once they curse that, when they curse that first son, now, the devil will now say, ah, the many powers will come and hide inside it. That is what is happening. 
You understand me? So we're going to pray like this. You say, like first son that are that are struggling to marry. If this first son is not uh, is not happy, things are not good for him. How is he going to marry? How is this first son is going to marry? Let's take talk about it. How is this first daughter is going to marry? So we're going to pray this one. We're going to pray. You say, any power that close my marriage heaven. Lose your hold and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that close my marriage heaven, lose your hold, lose your hold and die, lose your hold and die this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that close my marriage heaven, I command you now to lose your hold, lose your hold and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your hold, and, lose your hold and die, lose your hold and die, lose your hold and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Some will even marry, but they will not enjoy the marriage. They will not. <laughs> so lose your hold and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, many firstborn are caused by their ancestral idols. They are caused by the power of their family. They are caused by the, fam uh, the powers of their idols. That is what they are doing because they are powers that we hide inside it. So you're going to pray this prayer. Say, any foundational power contesting my contesting with my destiny sir for my father's house and my mother's house sir. receive fire now in the mighty name of jesus any foundational power that is contesting with my destiny for my father's house and my mother's house receive fire and burn to ashes 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 sir. receive fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of jesus sir. i say receive fire now power that is contesting your destiny in your father's house in your mother's house i command them now to receive fire i command them now to receive fire any power that is contesting your destiny in your your father so as they are contesting it is has been going from generation to generation i command them not to receive fire i command them not to receive fire i command them not to receive fire begin to pray for them to receive fire power that is contesting your destiny from your father's son from your father's son command them not to receive fire in the mighty name of jesus as you are going to start praying this short prayer it's going to be short prayer because we have been praying prayer sin before we pray i want you to take a pen write your names your names like for example dora agassi write your names sir the names of your parents the surname that the last and the first name of your parents write the name of your village you know take time to pray on them and cast them out cast the evil causes evil plans evil things sir, that you have inherited from your village i think you have to be doing that all the time doing that maybe twice or three times a week you have to be doing that uh, powers that are attacking you from your foundation you understand me why pray mention the names of your village specifically cry out to god uh, cry out to god uh, of the fire uh, uh, fire of god uh, to circle you to to to, to burn those ancestral demons uh, of your father's house and your mother's house that are haunting you amen so we're going to pray this prayer points quickly we're going to make it very fast very very fast in the mighty name of jesus if you know you are a first son or a first daughter you need more prayer points concerning that i'm not going to post them on facebook you can email me or call so that you will get those uh so that you will also get those benefits. I will send the prayer point to you. Amen. So we're going to pray. Oh God that made me first son and first daughter in my family. Visit me and change my condition. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please share this video. Let someone be blessed. I'm trying so that we quickly finish. Oh God that made me first son and first daughter in my family. Visit my visit me and change my situation in the mighty name of jesus oh god that made me first son and first daughter in my family visit me and change my condition now in the mighty name of jesus visit me and change my condition 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 in the mighty name of jesus oh god that made me first son and first daughter in the family visit me oh lord uh, and change my 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 condition visit me and change my condition visit me and change my condition oh lord visit me and change my condition in the mighty name of jesus we want to pray oh god that made me first born uh, 
Repair every damage that has been done to my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, that makes me a firstborn. Repair every damage that has been done to my life. Repair every damage that has been done to my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, that made me firstborn. Repair every damage that has been done in my life. Repair every damage that has been done in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Prophetess Jennifer, for sharing this video around the US. God bless you. You say, Repair every damage that have been done in my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, that made me firstborn. Uh, oh, repair every damage that have been done in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one, any evil personality contesting against my position in my father's house. For that and that in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, for that and that in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil personality contesting against my position in my father's house. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Thank you, uh, uh, Jennifer. Thank you so much. I saw it. God bless you for sharing it. God bless you. Any personality contesting against my position in my father's house. Uh, fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. It's time for you to pray for any power that is contesting your position uh, in your father's house. Uh, tell that power to fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one, I ban and reject any problem that wants to attach to my inheritance. Uh, as the firstborn of the family, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind and reject any problem that want to attach to my inheritance. As the firstborn of the family, begin to bind that power now that want to attach to your inheritance because you are the firstborn of the family. Begin to bind that power now to be beneath you. Begin to bind that power now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to bind that power now. Any power that want to attach problem to your inheritance. Because you are firstborn, uh, begin to burn that power. Begin to burn that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the next one, whatever evil that has been done on my on my placenta due to my mother ignorance be reversed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever evil that has been done on my placenta due to my mother's ignorance uh, be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are a woman, uh, pray. Say whatever. That have been done to your placenta, to your child, uh, through your ignorance, uh, should be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall be reversed, uh, shall be reversed, uh, shall be reversed, uh, shall be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to reverse it now. Begin to reverse it. I don't know. Begin to reverse it. Begin to reverse. It. I see that for Facebook, the people say that they are giving them uh, water to give birth. Be careful, cause they'll give you wrong child. Uh -huh. I just end that one for another day. You know. So begin to. You know, pray. Whatever that has been done to your placenta due to your ignorance, God should have mercy on you and reverse it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one, blood of Jesus, locate and paralyze every work of household witchcraft going on against me and my position. In the name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, locate and paralyze every work of household witchcraft uh, going on against me and my position. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, uh, locate and paralyze every work uh, of household uh, uh, witchcraft, uh, foundational power going on against me and my position. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, the next one, I destroy every generational curse in my father's house and my mother's house uh, that does not want me to marry and does not want me to make progress uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, begin to destroy generational causes uh, from your father's house uh, on your mother's house uh, that does not want you to marry, that does not want you to make progress uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, begin to destroy them now. Begin to destroy them. Uh, 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 every foundational power, every generational cause of your father's house and your mother's house uh, that does not want you to marry and do not want you to make progress uh, that are tying you down in one place. Uh, begin to destroy them now. Oh, Father Lord, destroy them now. Holy Ghost, destroy them now. Holy Ghost, destroy them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit is wanting me to, re to, to announce it. Announce it. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Okay. Next month. Next month, I'm going to start my prayer line. This time, this prayer line, I'm not going to give it to anybody. It's going to be special for prayer your way. Amen. Amen. So this one is going to be special for prayer your way. I'm going to be there. A lot of people will be praying. Maybe Sister Awi and Mommy Hanire will come and pray there. Uh -huh. So next month, 
prayer line is starting. I'm not giving to anybody to run to America. It's going to be me. I'm going to be there. Amen. Amen. It's going to be within the week. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to pray this one. I just want to announce this. Please, I'm telling me, announce it. Announce. I'll announce it now. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pray this one. Idols of my father's house and my mother's house looking for firstborn to arrest. <clears throat> I bound you for my life. I belong to Jesus. Remember, Jesus, uh, your first son or first daughter belongs to God, right? So we're going to pray. Idols of my father's house and my mother's house looking for firstborn to arrest. I bound you from my life. I belong to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I those of my father's house and my mother's house looking for firstborn to arrest. I bound you from my life. I belong to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I bound you from my life. I belong to Jesus. I those of my father's house and my mother's house. I those in my village that is looking for firstborn to arrest. I bound you from my life. I belong to Jesus. I bound you now. I bound you now. I bound you now. I bound you now. I bound you now, I bound you now, I bound you now, I bound you now, begin to pray, bind them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bound you now. I bound you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bound you now. I bound you now. Begin to bind them. Add those from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your village, from your own town. That is looking for firstborn to arrest her. Uh, begin to ban them because you are not their, their candidate. You belong to God. Uh, you are a firstborn. Uh, you belong to God. Uh, you are the firstborn. Uh, nothing will ever change that. Uh, you will never be arrested by them. Say, I will never be arrested by them. I will never be arrested by them. I belong to God. From today, begin to have that mindset. Go and read that Bible verse. You belong to God. As the first one, there is a special love that God have upon first born so don't let don't, don't ever let any power demote you amen amen so the other one we're going to finish very soon because my voice is still crack and uh, i'm just shouting you know god bless me amen say oh lord as a firstborn make me first in every area of my family amen remember when he wants to bless those two sons he was trying to bless the general one uh -huh. pray this prayer very well Oh Lord, as a firstborn, make me first in every area of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as a firstborn, make me first in every area of my family. Just in every area. Make me first in every area of my family. As the firstborn, make me first in every area of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. As the firstborn, make me first in every area of my family in the name of Jesus. We're going to play this one and pray the other one. Blood of Jesus, locate and scatter every evil decision and pronouncement made against me as the firstborn of the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, sir. Blood of Jesus, locate, uh, locate, and locate every evil decision and pronouncement made against me as the firstborn of the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, blood of Jesus, uh, locate uh, and scatter every evil decision and pronouncement uh, made against me as the firstborn of the family in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one, my birth writer. Uh, my birthright, make sure your name, my birthright, my birthright, me, Dora, my birthright, anywhere you are, receive fire and return back to me, in the mighty name of Jesus, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, in the mighty name of Jesus, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me, my birthright, receive fire and return back to me in the mighty name of jesus we're going to pray this one will end soon oh lord deliver me from evil pattern of begging from my younger ones we prayed that one before because when the senior son is nothing the senior daughter is nothing we're going to be begging for is that it's not good you understand me oh lord deliver me from evil pattern of begging for my younger ones in the name of jesus oh lord deliver me from evil pattern of begging from my younger ones in the name of jesus oh lord deliver me from evil patterns of begging for my younger ones uh. deliver me from evil patterns uh, of begging for my younger ones in the name of jesus amen and amen blood of jesus uh, the next one blood of jesus flow down into the root of my foundation 
and break every curses and covenant affecting my life and destiny and marriage as the firstborn in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus flow down into the roots of my foundation and break every curses and covenant affecting my, my life and destiny and marriage as the firstborn in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. The next one, my betrayal shall not be transferred to my younger ones or other people in the family in the name of jesus pray this one as if first so very well my betrayal shall not be transferred to my younger ones sir, or other people in my family in the mighty name of jesus sir, my betrayal shall not be transferred uh, to my younger ones sir, or other people in the family in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you today your betrayal shall never be transferred to your yoga one or other people in the family i say your betrayal uh, shall never be transferred to your younger ones uh, or other people in the family in the mighty name of jesus uh, your betrayal shall never be transferred to to younger ones and other people in the in, in the family in the mighty name of jesus your possession you shall possess uh, in the mighty name of jesus the next one have about four to go stubborn battles in my family pulling me back from achieving success scatter in the mighty name of jesus uh, stubborn battles in my family pulling me back from achieving success, uh, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, stubborn battles in my family, pulling me back from achieving success. Uh, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Stubborn battles in my family, pulling me back uh, from achieving success. Uh, scatter, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, stubborn battles in my family, pulling me down from achieving success. Uh, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Stubborn battles in my family, pulling me back from achieving success. Uh, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Stubborn battles in my family, pulling me back from achieving success. Uh, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Stubborn battles from my family, pulling me back uh, from achieving success. I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, we are not playing. A, we are not praying against flesh and blood. Uh. We are praying against principalities and powers uh, sitting in the high places, uh, using your destiny. That's what we are praying for. Pray very hard. Uh. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The next one, Holy Ghost fire, break the chains uh, in my hands and legs. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, break the chains in my hands and legs. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Holy Ghost fire, break the chains in my hands and legs. Uh, break it now, break it now, break it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, every evil chains they have used to chain me down, they have used to chain my destiny as the firstborn of the family. Father Lord, uh, release me. Father Lord, 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 release me. Oh, Lakata Liba Baset Keke Ribobo Setalabakete. Oh, Shantarabo Soto Holy Ghost. Ama Karabasete. Holy Ghost Fire. Break every chance in my leg and my hand. Wherever I be Keja, break it now. 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 Break it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Oh Lord, I've heard, I've heard. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Holy Spirit, if you wanted to say something, you must say it. <laughs> I've heard, I will say it later. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> amen. The prayer line is going to be, I will prepare my schedule, Lord, and start it. I'm going to prepare my schedule. Your schedule is the best schedule for my life. And... Uh, it's going to happen, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I honor your word. You honor my word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Blood of Jesus. Next one. Blood of Jesus. Scatter every evil hand joined together against me as the firstborn in my father's house and my mother's house in the mighty name of jesus blood of jesus scatter every evil hand join together against me as the firstborn in my father's house and my mother's house in the mighty name of jesus blood of jesus scatter every evil hand join together against me as the firstborn in my father's house and my mother's house you know every joint foundation 
you know, that is working against you. Tell God now to scatter their plans in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, scatter every evil hand joined together against me in my father's house and in my mother's house because I'm a, a firstborn. They join together. Father, Lord, scatter them. Holy Ghost, scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray. Family evil authors. Family evil authors. Receiving sacrifice and incantation because of me. Receive fire and bottle ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> I see some people, they bring abroad because they have one kind of uh, juju they are serving. They will now frustrate the person from abroad to home. Who is not better? They will frustrate him now. They will now frustrate the person back home because of these uh, stupid uh, things that they, are, that, that they are doing. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you, my beautiful princess. We God bless you, my dear. Thank you. You understand me? They frustrate the person back home, frustrate the person, they boss the uh, a person to one corner. Ah, you will never be bossed to any corner. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan will never boss you to boss you to any corner. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every evil family altar, sir, receiving sacrifice and incantation because of me, receive fire and burn to ashes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir, a family evil altar, sir. Receiving sacrifice and incantation because of me. Receive fire and burn to ashes. Receive fire and burn to ashes. Receive fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, family altar, sir. Receiving sacrifice and incantation because of me. Receive fire and burn to ashes, sir. Receive fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every family altar, sir, that is receiving sacrifice, sir, incantation, sir, because of you, they should receive fire. They should receive fire. They should receive fire. Fire, they should receive 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 fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to tell them to receive fire. Let that one be your prayer of this week. Any family altars are receiving a sacrifice and incantation because of you. That they should receive fire, that altar will burn to ashes, that altar will burn to ashes. When they call your name, fire will appear. When they call your name, fire will appear. When they summon you, Jesus Christ will appear. When they summon you, Jesus Christ will appear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Two to go. Amen. Foundational spirit, foundational spirit husband or spirit wife. Okay, let me explain this one quick because I want us to finish by two. Mom. Foundation, because there are some family, there's a foundational power. That foundational power, he married the, the girls in the family, he married the boys in the family. You see, married the girls in the family, married the boys in the family. You understand me? That is why some people are getting difficult in their marriages. They are getting difficulties. Uh, anything concerning relationship is very, very, is very, very difficult for them. You understand me? This is what is happening. Ignorance is not good. This is what is happening. You will not marry them. They already married them out in their mother's womb. So their marriage is always in a problem. You understand me? Their marriage Rakata Riba Basetarabasete. Rakoto Zindorobo Setalebaya. Makarabasete. I'm going to pray right now before I release that prayer pointer. Anything that I release is prophetic. You understand me? Go honor my work, my word. I pray for anyone here, any family I do that has married you. I command that family strong man, that strong woman to die this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them to die this minute. I command them to die this minute. I command them to die this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So we're going to pray like this. You say, foundational spirit husband and spirit wife attached to my life. I divorce you. Release me and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Foundational spirit husband, wife attached to my life. I divorce you. Release me and die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Foundational spirit husband, spirit wife attached to my life. That I was dedicated to in my mother's womb. It doesn't matter if you are not grown now, you are five years old. When you grow, it will manifest. It doesn't matter if you are just two years old. You are one, one month. They have already dedicated. They know that they, their wife or their husband is in that womb. You understand me? So you're going to divorce them now with only anger. Divorce them. Write this prayer point down. Uh, mommy, uh, princess, uh, blessing. We will write it out later for those people that are in uh, WhatsApp prayer group. Those are the people that will get it. So you can write it down. 
Uh -huh. You say, I divorce you now. Foundational spirit husband and wife, I divorce you now. I divorce you now. I divorce you now. I divorce you now. I divorce you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I divorce you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I divorce you now. I divorce you now. I divorce you now in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Last one. I break and set myself free from every familiar pattern of rising and falling. Marital troubles, financial troubles, in the mighty name of Jesus. I break and set myself free from family pattern of rising and falling, marital troubles, financial trouble, sickness, whatever it is. Begin to remove yourself. Begin to remove yourself. Begin to remove yourself. I say, I separate myself now. I break myself loose. I break myself loose. I break myself loose now. Begin to break yourself loose. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to break yourself loose right now. Begin to break yourself loose right now. Re baba sindara ba sete la koto ri kata la ba ba ba. Begin to break yourself loose right now. Begin to break yourself loose. Begin to break yourself loose right now begin to break yourself loose from it in jesus name we pray amen amen god bless you uh woman of god elizabeth joshua god bless you man i really appreciate you for joining in thank you jesus so begin to break yourself loose now from that pattern begin to break yourself loose in jesus name so uh, i have a prayer like i said if you are a first son or first daughter or you have a first son or first daughter that is going under the bondage of this what we have just preached about you can email me or if you are in the whatsapp prayer group you will get it there every prayer is going to be with uh, a woman of god uh, she's here on the prayer line don't disturb her now because we're going to say the prayer later she'll have time to prepare it and they put it on the on the prayer but the one for the firstborn and first daughter and all that one will be with me it will it will also be with a woman of god too so you will give it to her amen and amen and uh, if you have not given your life to god this is the time you have to give your life to god as a first son or first daughter you have not given your life to god and god said you belong to him so if you do not give your life to god who did you belong to i don't want to mention that or to say that so give your life to god now and if you are not the first born or first daughter, I know that you have backslid in one way or the other. Please, can you give your life to God now and God will surely receive you. Let us put one minute and God will surely bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to surrender or begin to surrender or everything to Jesus right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for, for giving this person this step of faith to to give his or her life to you wherever they are right now. Father, Lord, receive them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if you receive God, don't let Satan talk you out and say, you, your sins will never be forgiven. There is no sin that can ever be forgiven. The only sin that can ever be forgiven is when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. That is not forgiven. Every other sin is forgiven. And God is waiting for you. I just want to congratulate you for taking this uh, step of faith. And God will surely bless you. And... Uh, if God ever laid it in your heart to bless our ministry, to take this ministry around, like I said, we're still raising money for the foundation of the church because we're going to get a place. If there is a place, you can come for deliverance. You sleep inside the church. Many pastors are there, you know. They can actually do it for you. It's a benefit for you also. Uh, we have our uh, uh, church uh, account there. It doesn't matter if you are in Nigeria, you are in Europe. You can still wire it to us, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, for the people that just tuned in, uh, my name is uh, Prophet Dora Agassi, and I bless you all for supporting this ministry, and I bless you all for everything that you have been supporting with in this ministry, prayers, financially, everything, and God will surely bless you. God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never regret that you are on, in this ministry because there is power. There is power in this ministry, and God honor everything about this ministry god will bless you in jesus name bye bye let me play this music so that i'll use this one to go yes you are the lord most high yes you are the lord most high yes you are the lord most high, yes, you are the Lord. Most high, <laughs> I'm talking small, small. 
because God is my strength. Like you know, you know what I mean. Some people here know what I say. Say, yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. I love you, Sister Jennifer. God bless you. Great woman of God. I pray that we meet one day. Jennifer Johnson, I pray we meet one day. I'm just calling my calling. I'm not debating. Hey, 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 he can't have a sister. Mosa. Yes, you are the Lord. God give you the strength. When he give you this kind of ministry, he will give you the strength. <laughs> I have not slept since yesterday. I told one uh, one man of God, one one man of God for there. I say, wake me up, oh, wake me up. But I say, wake me up. I'm still sleeping with one eye. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love this ministry. I love it. I love it. Hey, Mosa. I love it. I will never change, Lord. Mosa. Yes, you are the Lord. Hey, most. Yes, you are the. We are doing a joint prayer so. Um, Sister Elizabeth, uh, man of God, you are your husband, and uh, Brother Connett. We are doing a joint prayer so after this live video. I beg you. <coughs> we are doing a. Hey, 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 most. Yes, you are the Lord. Hey, Moses, I love this ministry. Hey, Moses, yes, you are the Lord. Hey, Moses, you are the Lord. I just pray that we have a big place so that you both can really see me on life. On a deliverance ground. I love it. Hey. Mosa. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I pray for everyone here right now. Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to release one Bible verse right now. When Moses break the curses of Reuben. So you can read that one later. It's uh, Deuteronomy 36.6. So you can read the, that, uh, that Bible verse. If you want me to read it for you, before I go, I can swear do that. So uh, that causes, uh, the causes of uh, Reuben was broken because um, Moses have the higher anointing to break that curse. You understand me? Like I said earlier, any causes, it has to take a higher anointing. It has to take a higher anointing to break that cause. You hear me? If it's, there's no higher anointing, that cause is not broken. You understand me? So we learn how to, depends on what is going on with you, that is the place that you will see go. So, like I said, Deuteronomy 33, 6 said, Let Reuben live and did not die, not his people be few. You see that, that, uh, you see that uh, curse that was laid on him, the father laid on him. Later, because of the higher anointing of Moses, it was broken. So, I want you to read, if you know that you have cause, this is just another one that I just download because I'm supposed to leave now and I'm leaving in one minute. So, this one is just downloaded now. That course was broken. That, uh, that course was broken. So, you can use the Toromi 33.6 to break it. He said, let Reuben live and not die. No his people be few. You see, that course was broken. It take a higher anointing to break that course. You understand me? 612, sorry. It was 612. So it shall not be broken. Deuteronomy 33, 612. Uh -huh. So 
You can use that one to pray and God will surely bless you. So every curses that have been laid on you, it should be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to repeat it one more time. Deuteronomy 33, 6, 12. Just downloading. That curse was broken later with a higher anointing. God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to go now because I have to enter another prayer now. Lift his name high. Lord is good. Lift him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Let me go. Bye-bye.